Okay, so welcome back to the 106 Diaries. So we're on episode 35 now. So I'm just gonna kind of like do a voiceover for the full video because I completely forgot to film other clips. So started off the week on Monday, so I just will plan the training out with John on the Sunday for the next so a few weeks. Want to really work on speed endurance and max velocity, just two areas that I'm not super strong at because I know my acceleration is, you know, it's there when I kind of need it. And yeah, that was the plan, but we still wanted to sort of touch on acceleration. So on the speed endurance days, I did do accelerations. So day one was supposed to be speed endurance, but I woke up like super early in the morning. So you'll see the first clip, I did like that three point start and then I felt absolutely fried afterwards. Like my body just didn't feel like it was gonna be able to make it through even just like one rep of, you know, a 30 meter block start without getting injured. So I had to just cut the session there after that. So then, flying out so this was like the morning time that I did the session I think that was like partially the reason why I was feeling so tight and so kind of just injury prone was just because it was like I had woken up at maybe like an hour before that session hour and a half so definitely do not advise doing that I usually like to have at least three hours of sort of like awake time before I go into sprints just because I feel like I'm more sort of mentally ready and I feel my body's sort of like you know just ready to go essentially so that happened, that wasn't really ideal, so I had to kind of just cut the workout and I planned to just do that then on the Wednesday. I got to LA on the Monday, like Monday night, slept and then got up on Tuesday. So we had to sort of like work around um, Kyle's schedule as well, so we planned to do the training on the Thursday instead. So what I did was I was like, right, I want to kind of get something, I don't, I don't want to be, you know, having I don't want to kind of be in a situation where I've not really done anything maximal for like, you know, less, like in like six days, I suppose. Because obviously like prior to that, like Friday was the last time I'd done max effort stuff and it was now like Tuesday. So I was like, right, I want to do something. So I did hill sprints when I first got here. So those felt all right. My body actually you know, didn't feel too bad doing those. I wasn't really pushing 100%. I'd say I was maybe in the kind of 90%, 95% range for those sort of hill sprints it was in the sort of 30 to maybe 35 40 meter range for the hill sprints nothing really too intense honestly so yeah that was that like little session i didn't do any weight, weight room stuff literally just that sort of sprint session just to kind of keep my body ticking over then come thursday did my speed endurance session so got through the 30 meter block starts felt reasonably good from the blocks and then my hamstring tightened up on the last rep so that was a little bit of a, an annoyance but I think I matched my fastest time from the blocks over 30 meters so far for this little thing, kind of indoor transition between indoors and outdoors so happy with that at least and I was at this like rainbow track which was quite cool to run on but yeah just kind of annoying with the hamstring tightness I still went and got my lifts in because I was able to kind of like work around the hamstring tightness with the lifts I just don't think I was able to work around the tightness if I'd, you know, tried to do the 120. So I thought it was best to just kind of like come out and you know, be healthy. So that sort of ended off, you know, the first workout of the warm weather training camp. And then next session, I planned to like rest a little bit more because of the hamstring tightness. So we did that on the Sunday. I did some 20 meter flies at the USC track and was just kind of like pushing in the sort of 90-95% kind of range. I wasn't wanting to push too hard just because I didn't think it was a smart idea to do that with the hamstring tightness. I could still feel it a little bit towards the last rep but I was happy that I was able to work up to that because that then gave me confidence for the next next workout. So yeah, I did that and we actually got kicked off the track at USC as well which was quite funny. So. It was me and Kyle that went there, so he wasn't running because he has a little bit of plantar fasciitis, similar to what I had. So he wasn't able to do running, so he was just sort of like filming. And then a security guard came up to us and was like, um, do you have like permission to be here? Have you got like a permit to film? And then he was like trying to kick us off. And we, I said like the fat guys, there was like this big fat football tournament that you might see in the background of some of the clips that you'd just seen. So yeah, they had this big like tournament and yeah, the guy came over, was trying to kick us off, and Kyle was like talking to him, so I was like, right, I'm gonna get this like last rep done. He was like, go and collect your stuff and just like head out. So I got the last rep and Kyle kind of distracted him, and yeah, 212, not too bad for like 95%. So yeah, that was the sprint session, then lifts were decent. Hand cleans, they didn't feel amazing, honestly. I think it's just like lack of practice with hand cleans at like heavier weights. So I feel like with more,
fact it's a heavier weight so I'll obviously you know get it better it's sort of like the law of specificity essentially and then yeah lifts as well were quite good front squats were fun to do after not having done them for so long so yeah that was good so then moving on to week two so I'm just going to kind of do this video as week one and week two just to sort of save a little bit of time and so I can catch back up with the vlog week two I had the same 30 meter, 3 times 30 meter, 2 times 120. This time I was feeling good coming into the session. I was feeling like I was ready to run. So Sunday was the last day that I had done my runs. This was Wednesday now, so three days after Sunday. I got the workout in, so I was just doing some like warm-up sprints with Kyle. He wasn't really actually running max effort, but he was still kind of like keeping up with me on some of the reps. I was kind of like like surprised, I'm not gonna lie, because he's in you know trainers so it'll be good to like race him at some point I'm sure we'll do it we didn't get to do it on this trip out to LA unfortunately because he's it's been a few things that have came up I'll explain it in next week's episode or maybe towards the end of this episode so yeah we got a few runs in together which was quite nice and then did my 120s so yeah 30 meters felt really weird like it didn't feel amazing I just think I've not done enough three point starts past past sort of that like essentially 10 meters like I only really do 10 meters with a three-point start I don't do much in the way of like longer than that or I haven't at least for a while so it felt really weird I wanted to have blocks for this day but didn't have it so I just had to make do with what I had so yeah they didn't feel great but then for the final 120 I actually ran quite well for the 30 meters I think it was like a, a 4.1 or 4.09 for the the first 30 and then yeah, speed endurance wasn't too bad as well. I think it was actually a 0.7 PR for the 120s. I'm going to like double check it. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it was like a 0.7 PR. But to be fair, I've not run 120 since the start of 2021. No, 2022, sorry. Not yet. I've not run 120 since 2021. So I did one workout with like two times 120 in the cold. So obviously it's like hard to compare. But still 0.7 PR so I will take that and I definitely feel like I'm capable of a lot more we're still sort of like early doors for the season so I feel like give me a, a few more months of like competitions under my belt and I think I can definitely get into this sort of like sub 13 range for the 120 so I'm looking forward to really pushing that hopefully this season I really want to try and push these longer sprint reps because I really feel like it's untapped sort of potential for improvement in my performance so yeah, that was the 120s, happy with that. It was really good as well because I had someone to sort of push me. If you like go back to the 120s, you'll see that there was like this jogger guy. So I'd started my rep, he was maybe like 80 meters down the track. And I sort of noticed him about 40 meters out. So it really kind of made me push to the finish line so I could beat him. And I think I did just get him just at the end. So I was like happy with that. But yeah, it's good to have that like little bit of competition, I guess, for the rep. And that was like the last rep. That was like 20, I think it was 22 minutes after the first rep. So I feel like you know, probably a little bit more rest would have had me running even faster, but you can't really, you know, I don't want to rest like all day. I wanted to do like 18 minutes and do this sort of like 90 minutes per 10, 90 seconds per 10 meters, but ended up just doing sort of the regular, just like a longer rest, just until I sort of like felt like I was like ready to you know, get the next session. But I was still kind of like breathing quite heavy at the line, which was quite funny. So yeah, that was that session. The weights were all right as well. I did, I can't really remember what I did on that day. Um, but yeah, the weights were, I think, moving decently well. Next day was 20 meter flies. So managed to run 1.98 with the free lap on the 20 meter flies. And we confirmed it with the video time as well because Kyle got a nice little side angle. So yeah, it was cool to, you know, run those and get like a new season's best for the 20 meter flies. So that's faster than what I did indoors at the start of the year, I think. Indoors at the start of the year, I ran, I want to say it was like 2.03 with video time. So yeah, comparing like video times like 0 0.05 up, it was windy, I will mention it was windy. Kyle it was like, oh yeah, it was very windy. It was like 3, three meter per second, maybe like 3.5 meter per second wind. Obviously, like I'm not really 100% sure of the wind on the reps, but, but yeah, it was definitely windy. So take that into account, but... I, I think I, like I count windy training rep, reps, I think it's just like, I think it's it's more so it's like I know with competition I'm going to run even better, so it's like even if it's windy it's just, you know, good training reps essentially, so I, I like, a, like a good tailwind. So yeah, that's like week one, then did the weight room stuff, front squats, you know, hang, I think it was hang cleans I had as well, so yeah, solid 
first sort of two weeks over in LA in the warm weather training camp. Only thing that was a little bit annoying was obviously the little tightness and then I've had some other issues since the hamstring tightness that I'll go into depth, into detail in the next video. But yeah, that's sort of the, the work. So I managed to sort of scramble some, assemble some sort of quality training over the past few weeks, even with the issues that I have had, so I cannot complain. I'm looking forward to opening my season up now. That's kind of the, the big focus is on just kind of opening the season up and really putting down a solid time. I definitely like to try and drop like a... It'd be nice to get into the 10 sevens. That's maybe like a bit of a, a stretch, honestly, but it'd be really nice to get into the 10 sevens for my opener. But I'd honestly take anything, anything under 11 would be really nice because that would be like a season's like an old time, like lifetime PR season opener type thing. So yeah, definitely want to try and push for that. So that's really it for the video. Not got much more to add. So yeah, just gonna have to knuckle down these next few weeks. Oh well, to be honest with you, it's the next week because next week I will be competing. So just gotta really knuckle down this next week of training and just make sure that I do not get injured. That's the main thing. So. With that being said, thank you for watching the video and I will see you in the next episode.